Maundy Thursday. Maundy. I don't know about you, but some of the terms that we use can be quite confusing. I remember when I was a lot younger and was beginning to explore faith a little bit more and was trying to understand what some of these words were. And I remember Easter, Easter Sunday. Okay, I, I get what Easter Sunday is, but I didn't realize that Easter was linked with a goddess from England and this was referred to as spring. I mean, we took it over and redefined it, but that's where the Easter came from. And then I was thinking, Good Friday. I can understand that, sort of a change in terms of a bad Friday versus a good Friday. And then, Maundy Thursday. Maundy. And I was younger and I was trying to think, where did we get the name Maundy from? And I was thinking, well, I understand a mourning as grieving. So I know it's a different spelling, but is that what we were talking about? Are we going into a grieving with the cross? And then I thought, surely we can't be grieving, mourning on the Thursday before the cross takes place. And then I discovered a little bit later, aha, mourndi comes from the Latin, mandatum. And mandatum is the commandment, the law. We mandate that you have to do something. That's what it's about, the new law, the new commandment. This is where the Maundy fits in. And you know, in the church, we love taking all these words that don't mean all that much to us, and we use them. But this is where we are with the Maundy Thursday, the new commandment. And this is the gospel reading that we had of that new commandment that I give to you. And Jesus has done the washing of the feet. And as we know, in John's gospel, we have the washing of the feet. We don't have the Last Supper. That's what takes place in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And in John, there is that redefining of what the ending is and the washing of the feet, and it has such a parallel as you read those words with what the cross is about, of taking the water and washing the feet, and God on the cross, the blood, wiping our cells clean. And this is what we are entering into at this time. This is the Maundy Thursday. This is the part of the Holy Week as we move towards these next few days. And as we share now in this time of communion, I pray that all of us might remember again what this is, this new commandment that is given to us. And we share in that and we then move out. And as we know, this is a powerful service in that it ends with the communion. There's no thanksgiving, there's no final blessing, but instead there is the stripping of the altar and the darkness. And that's what we walk out to as we await Good Friday. Amen.